Hi everybody, welcome to Stalking the Wild Auto Harp. Today we're going to talk about two finger playing. Probably the easiest kind of playing you can do using your thumb and your index finger and that's all. First let me give a shout out to my patrons over at patreon.com. They are the ones who contribute regularly to this show and I couldn't do it without them. So thank you for everything patrons and um, if you would like to become a patron you can shoot on over to patreon.com slash howweeks and kick in a few bucks a month to the continuance of this program and that would really help me help you play the auto harp now let's get down to thumb and index playing the first thing i want to talk about is the thumb which at the beginning of our playing career we use for keeping the beat. And the beat happens, of course, in four or three, sometimes two, but it sounds almost exactly like four. So um, we use our thumb, strumming, strumming the auto harp. By the way, thumb pick gets worn like this so that it comes out at an angle to your thumb so that when your thumb comes in, it's going across the strings like that. Dare I come in closer? Let's see if I can. Notice that it comes off the bottom, the fleshy part of my thumb, at right angles to my thumb. Okay. So, thumb playing. We count, for example, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and we strum once per count. To make it a little more interesting, we can use the different areas of the auto harp. Low, middle, high, middle, low, middle, high, middle, low. Or you could go low, middle, middle, low, middle, middle, low, middle, middle. Now I'm counting three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or I could go low, middle, high, low, middle, high. But this all pretty much puts one down here on the low strings. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that's basically it for the thumb. Let's bring our index finger in. Our hand now goes back and forth using the thumb and index alternately but they don't always alternate. Let, let's do an example of that. First of all, get the feel for going back and forth, thumb, index, thumb, index, or if I use shorthand initials, T, I, T, I. We'll count one, two, three, four. T, I, T, I, T, I, T, I. Now when I do that, I am using each finger for one beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now if we put all the beats back on the thumb, one, two, three, four, we can use the index finger to come back halfway through the beat. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and. Notice we say and at the half beat. And it sounds like it's going faster. But really what's happening is we're cutting them up into halves, which go by quicker. But the holes are still the same length of time. For example, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, 
four, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and. Now, you can't see my toe, but my toe is tapping. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The toe is really your good friend when you're keeping rhythm because halfway through the taps, it's up, and that's when you say and. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So we're going to be going T I T I T I T I. That's for four four time. Another thing we can do is we can leave out some of the ands. We keep the beat and just put in some of the ands, like this. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. You want to try these with me? You can stop the recording, back it up a little bit, and do it with me. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, Two and three and four and let's try another one. One, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and all the time my toe is going. One, two and three, four and let's try one in three. We're gonna go one, two and three and 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 one, two and three and. Good. And just for fun, let's try moving this across the face of the auto harp. Let's go back to one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and, and we'll go low, middle, high, middle, low. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. By the way, if you go under that gear in the lower right hand corner of every YouTube video, there is a speed adjustment, and you can make this go half speed and slow it down. Okay, that's three, four, four. Let's try three, four. Let's go one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and, and we'll put the, we'll put one down low by itself, one beat, and then we'll do half beats, two, and three, and in the middle of the harp. So it goes like this, one, two, three, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, Two and three 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 and. That's good, everybody. Okay, so this is how we do what I call rocker. Rocker because we're rocking back and forth. These two fingers, this basic strum keeper, strum motion, can do all the strums in the world. Now one last thing I want to mention is the pinch. And we'll talk about the pinch more when we come to melody playing, but the pinch is where we go together at the same time. And we can pinch in rhythm too. One, two, three, one, two, three, low, middle, middle, low, middle, middle, low, middle, middle, low, middle, middle, the pinch, the fingers don't really come together, at least not on a note. However, when I pinch, my finger frequently comes to a stop against my thumb down low or the ball of my thumb. But one could say they're passing one another. 
to get into like a post snap position. But you can also pinch wider, which gives you a fuller sound because your thumb is reaching out to those very bass, bass notes. Or you can pinch real close together. which gives you more of a harmonic sound. Play with that, play with the width of the strum, play with uh, pinching in different areas in different repeating patterns of two, four, or three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And above all, try to work it into songs. So there you have it, that's two finger playing. I'm Hal Weeks. This is Stalking the Wild Auto Harp. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.